Hey guys, it's Bob Morreale here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, we're going to be discussing the differences between the brand new ProCharger D1X and the older ProCharger D1SC. So stick around and check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's talk a little bit about the brand new ProCharger D1X. Now, before we get into too much details, you should know that there's also a brand new P1X. So if you follow the line of ProChargers, you know that the P1s have always been the smaller, the D1s kind of in the medium, and then the F1s are for the really, really big power output. So um, having upgraded both the P1 and the D1, I have some tech specs for you so you kind of understand the differences between what they used to be and what they are now. Um, before we get too far in, you should also know these are also a direct replacement. So if you have a P1SC and you want to upgrade to a new P1X or a D1SC, you can also upgrade to the D1X. Starting at the obvious stuff, if you look at this part right here called the Volute, V-O-L-U-T-E, this part is dramatically different. And what they've done here is improve the internals so it'll actually flow a lot more air. Now. Why would they need to do this? Well, obviously when they improve a product, they wanna make more power. So they have to be able to complement it, which means you can move more air, but you can complement it with the impeller design. And so we have some pictures that we're showing you now of the two impellers. Now using the D1SC as the example, you have the original impeller design, and then you have the brand new revised impeller design of the D1X. So you can take a look at this and see that it really catches a lot more air and flows a lot more air. Now, how does that really compare? What does that really translate into? So if we look at actual CFM, we can see how much more increased airflow we have. So starting with the little one, the P1X, or we'll call it the little one, uh, and the P1SC, so the original. The P1SC originally, it would flow about 1200 CFM of air, which equals about 825 max supported horsepower. Now, of course, you can Definitely turn it up and make a little more. We've seen people make more and we've seen people make less. However, that compares to the new P1X, which flows 1,275. So 75 additional CFM of airflow for another, uh, another 50 horsepower. So if you simply go from the old blower to the new blower, you really should see a solid 50 horsepower gain on the smaller one. Now, if we're talking about the D1, like we have here, the D1 uh, SC, the original blower, would make about 1400 CFM, which is a lot more airflow. And it originally supported about 925 horsepower. Now the new one here, the D1X, because of the new impeller design and the new Volute design, it actually flows 1500 CFM, which is a lot of CFM, and also supports about 1000 max horsepower. So remember in the older days when we were doing these builds and we would have a 1000 horsepower request, we wouldn't even question it. We would just go straight to an F1 Pro Charger. The difference is now you can go ahead and do that with a D1. So how do we know that that's actually happening? So there actually has been some data. We did a little research and we found two examples of people that have actually been making power with these brand new blowers already. So starting with the little guy, the P1X, and I know nobody likes to call it that, but it's the smaller blower, the P1X, all by itself on an otherwise stock 2018 Mustang GT 5 liter is making 846 rear wheel horsepower. Now, the, the dyno numbers themselves, yeah, they're super impressive, but how does that back up on the track? You can go ahead and look it up. Currently, it's the quickest and the fastest 2018 Mustang GT that you can find. So that speaks a lot there, and it's got the P1X on it. So it's not even the larger D1X. Now, what about the D1X? So we found some actual data from guys who actually swapped from the D1SC, the older one, to the newer D1X actually ended up gaining 164 at the wheels. Now that's on a nine second car that now runs mid eights because of the gains. It also picked up 13 miles per hour in the traps. So not only did the dyno gains prove out, the thing runs mid eights with a D1X Pro Charger in a 3,800 pound Nova. So that's right, we have a D1X Pro Charger in a fully streetable combo in cars that are not running eights and nines. So say what you will, but power gains are proven. So what I would recommend is if you have one of the older Pro Chargers and you're looking for that extra power, call it Pro Charger. And um, I believe the upgrades are around 1700 bucks, give or take. I would definitely contact them. It would be a worthwhile bolt-in direct upgrade. So, I mean, think about that. That's like doing a good cam swap and picking up that kind of power. 
So you'll see even more than that when you do a larger, uh, a larger amount of boost. So if you compare older D1SC at high boost to newer D1X at high boost, you're definitely gonna see large gains. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, check out these other awesome videos, as well as these products and our website.